Today we're talking about solving systems of equations using graphs. There's a couple of different parts to this, so I want to make sure to cover everything. In this first one, we're going to go ahead and skip down here, and we're going to start solving this by graphing, just like it sounds like. This says y equals x plus 4. To solve by graphing, we're going to graph both lines. We're going to find the exact point where they cross, and that point is going to be a solution to our systems of equations. I'll let you know exactly how that works here in a bit when we get going. In this first one, we have a y-intercept out here of a positive 4. So we're going to go up to 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to make our mark. That right there is that positive 4. My slope is 1. Anytime you see just an x, remember there's an invisible 1 in front of it, so my slope is 1. I go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. I've run out of room, so I'm going to extend this back the other direction. Down one, backwards one, down another one, and backwards one. This way, when I have my line, every single one of these points on it will be up one and over one from the next. I draw my line down through it. Now, this isn't going to be exact, but when you work this on your paper, they give you a nice grid to make it easier for you. On this second one, we have another line here. It's got a y-intercept of a positive 1. So right here on positive 1, same graph, same plane, we're graphing this other line. We have a negative 2 for our slope, so we go down 2 and over 1, down another 2, over another 1. It looks like our lines are running away from each other. So we're going to extend this back the other way. We go up 2 and back 1. This right here looks like where we're going to intersect. So we go up another 2 and back another 1. Now again, when you're working these on your paper, use a straight edge of some sort. Don't end up with a wobbly straight line like mine is. Have a real one. This point right here is going to be our intersection. Its x value is negative 1. Its y value is 3. So we got negative 1, 3. The next part, even though it's further up on here, the next part that we're going to talk about when you're solving systems with graphing is sometimes they'll give you a point and they'll ask you about it. Now on these, it's not going to be easy for me to solve for y, graph it, and check this to see if it's the right point. I could do that, but it'll take a little bit longer. Easier is to understand that this is an ordered pair. It's going to be the x value and the y value, and sub those in where the x and y already are. I put a 6 here. I put a negative 2 here. I'm going to work this bottom one. 5 times 6 gives me 30, minus the y is negative 2. When I subtract a negative, it's the same as adding a positive, so that makes 32. 32 is what it was supposed to be. I'm going to put a check mark by this one. It works here. But unless this point works for both systems, it's not going to be a correct answer. If we take a look at our graph again, if we come back down here, this explains why. This is y equals x plus 4. Everything on this line is a correct answer for y equals x plus 4. This line is y equals negative 2x plus 1. Everything on that line is a correct answer for negative 2x plus 1. This spot right here, negative 1, 3, is the one point that works for both equations. That makes it the solution. When we come back up here and we're dealing with it mathematically, if this works in one and not in the other, it's like a point on our lines out here. If it only works for one and not the other, it's not a solution to the system because it doesn't work for both. Same with the point here. It's got to be the point right here where both of them have the same answers. 3 times 6 is going to give me 18 up here. and this is a minus. 2 times a negative 2 gives me a negative 4. Again, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. 18 minus negative 4 is going to give me a 22. 22 does not equal 14. I put an x by that one, and my answer for this is no. 6 negative 2 is not a solution to this system of equations.